Now welcome back to episode number two of No Money Spent Rank Seasons Road to World Series. Look at the squad, it's looking good. But if you missed out on the previous episode, we actually had the rare tier pull in the prospects pack. Therefore, we got ourselves Jesus Lusardo, which means he's making his rank seasons debut today. If you guys want the next episode, let's get this video up to 35 likes. We get it up to 35 likes, and I'll drop episode number three of No Money Spent, No Money Spent <laughs> Rank Seasons Road to World Series. Now. Our lineup is looking a little bit different. We put Fernando Tatis Jr. at the two hole. We move Glaber to the four, put Carlos Correa at the number six, and Byron Buxton, he stays at eight. If you do end up knowing today's content, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all social medias at Blademus. And also make sure you turn on that notification bell and click on the channel, click on community, and interact with me there. Let's jump into it. So like I told you all, Jesus Luzardo, He's making his ranked season's debut. Let's hop in there and let's put on a show 100% of the way. Who are we facing? We're facing New York Rush, next level finger. He has basically a team full of New Yorkers, except for Austin Meadows, Wilson Contreras, Ken Griffey Jr., and Corey Kluber. But then after that, you have one through four, New York, and number six, New York. So. To a certain extent, he stays true to his name. We're playing at Coors Field. Should be fun. Didn't get much going. That's drop. Oh, snap. That actually dropped. That's going to be a double. Maybe if instead of, you know, debating on whether or not we got much going, we would have been running out the box. That would have actually been a triple. But, hey, that was horrible PCI placement. That's great PCI placement. I'm fine not getting rewarded right there. I'm 100% fine with it. Let's go, Jesus. Let's see what you're made of. It's going to be an easy pop-up. Hopefully, Glaber can get there. And he is. That's why we got you playing second base, big boy. Let's go. We're going to go with the slider here. I'm just testing out Jesus' control. He's going to pull that. Matt Olsen, diamond fielding. That's what you got him there for as well. His curveball is his best pitch. I want to try it soon, but first I want to make sure I'm throwing strikes. I'm not sure how fast his fastball is, but I'd imagine it has to be. Maybe not Michael Kopech's level, but pretty close. That was a curveball, I believe, that he hit right back up the middle. So he can definitely hit the off-speed pitch. Let's throw a fastball here. A little bit inside, just to see what it's like. It's 97. Let's throw a change up in the dirt. All right, so he's just swinging out there. Let's go with the slider. A little bit inside to Giancarlo. Hopefully it doesn't hit him. He has such a close stance that I'm scared to throw anything inside. That's a nice curveball. We get the strikeout. Throw him out at first. Let's go. Let's get to hitting. The pitch speed's changed, so I have to adjust on the fly. I didn't know that up to 400 it was veteran. I thought... It was up to 200 veteran, and then up to 700, it was all-star after 200. But apparently, that's not the case. We need to adjust on the fly. Got a full count here. Opportunity for Byron Buxton to get up and maybe get himself an at-bat. Good pitch. We crush. Nope. Let's go. Byron Buxton, come up to hit. Byron Buxton. First base hit. Hopefully, that's counted as a base hit. Or hopefully that counts as a base hit. Probably first base hit of the ball game. Yep, it is. Jesus Luzardo. That's a well-struck ball. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. 98. He's getting himself up there. That's fine. I like that. I like that a lot. Wow, what a way to get yourself a single. I wish he would have actually went to second base, though. I would have enjoyed my first assist. Now, this is a little scary. Because if he sits fastball, pretty sure he can do some damage. Let's go with the slider just on the inside corner here. Hey, we're doing our thing. Mixing speeds. Nice little curveball. Did he go? 
Apparently he didn't. That's fine. What do we have here available? I think we can go with the change up. Just the change up in the dirt. If it doesn't work, well, it worked. So shoot second base, strike him out, gun him out. That's what we do in high school. That's my motto. Strike him out, gun him out. Even though my middle infielders, you know, not to throw shots at them, but they couldn't place the tag for their lives. I don't know what you might be saying. Hey, maybe the catcher wasn't guiding the throw. Trust me, if you were to see the way I threw the ball, you'd be like, I don't know what the middle infielders are doing. Even the umpires were like, hey, that's a good throw. I don't know what they were trying to do. And I'd just be like, what can you do about it? You just got to keep going. Nice curve in the dirt. This is Jesus. He's dirty. So far, he's looking dirty. We need to back him up, though. If we can't hit, he's not going to be able to do anything for us. That's a line drive. It's going to be a double. All it takes me is a couple of at-bats. Once I get this down, I kid you not, we're going to be good money. Once I get these pitch speeds down. Now it's time for Fernando Tatis Jr. to do the same thing. Let's do some damage here for sure, for sure. Hey, Blade Miss just late beat great. Even though I felt like it's an outside fastball, I thought I timed it well. We hit a line drive the other way, drove in a run. That's what you want to see. Now Glaber, he needs to do some damage too for us here. That's a great pitch. I was trying to hold up the swing, I just couldn't. That has to be gone. I can't keep telling myself that. I'm letting him basically live. He's basically trying to die. He's throwing me pitches right down the plate. I'm just not placing my PCI on them. Give me a couple of more innings. As a matter of fact, I don't need a couple more innings. We're hitting top of the fourth. We hitting. You best believe that. Let's go and throw the hardest we can. Let's see how hard he can throw. 99. Not bad for a lefty. Once we get to Hall of Fame and Legend, this might be disgusting. Not only the fact that he can throw 99, but the fact he has three really, really good off-speed pitches and the curveball is his main off-speed pitch, that will be absolutely disgusting on Hall of Fame and absolutely filthy on Legend. He's like, you know what, I'll just take the pitch. And the great thing is, I mean, even though it's just all-star difficulty, the control feels amazing right now with this suit. Like, 100%, I feel great. That's a nice little slider there. Not where I wanted it, but what can you do about it? Nice little change up right here. Should get the job done. Carlos Correa at third base. We have him at third instead of second base because his reaction, I believe, is not as high as Labor Torres's. So I'd rather have the highest reactions at short and second rather than have someone that just has good fielding there because reaction is everything in this game, whether you believe it or not. Matt Olson, I think I'm feeling a home run here, 100% of the way. Got underneath it. Byron Buxton right now, usually our worst hitter. He's making the best contact. He's doing his thing, so that's what I like to see. I like being able to see whether, like, for example... I know you guys haven't seen me use Roy Oswald yet in the no money spent ranked seasons, but I used him in the event. And when I tell you that I've never met a pitcher that is more difficult to control than Roy Oswald, I don't know whether I just can't time him, but for some reason, the guy, he's just, he's just difficult to control. We're going to go with an outside changeup. He's probably expecting a fastball. We get the call. Now he's probably expecting an off speed. But I'm going to try to blow this fastball past him. And we're doing just that. I'm telling you, this lefty, he's the real deal. He has three off speeds, and then he has a sinker and a fastball. He has basically everything you want a pitcher to have. And then he's a lefty on top of that? The only time it gets bad is when you have a team full of labor Torreses that basically destroy left-handed pitching. But other than that, you're loving your life right now. Or a team full of Frank Thomases. A team full of Frank Thomases would probably give me a 
a heart attack or a nightmare. Let's get some hits, man. That's what we haven't done. We've done everything except get hits. You guys know how I get when I don't get hits. I get hungry and I get frustrated. Okay, that cutter, it comes in at 88. The sinker comes in at like 94. Hey, base hit. We were late on it. Definitely not going to be a double. So we'll stay at first. Jesus Luzardo getting himself a base hit. Helping his own cause. Joey Gallo, pick him up. Just missed that one too. That's so unfortunate. Oh, it hit off the wall. He couldn't even lock in. That is so unfortunate. That is so booty about this game. I got gunned out at third. <laughs> hey, we'll say uh, we made the sacrifice. And then we hit a hard hit grounder. We'll take it. You son of a gun. You really gonna go ahead and get a ground out here, Blade? You literally walked him out of the inning. You literally said, hey, don't even stress it. I got your back. He checked his swing, yeah, but he's early. He's early, so let's see if he can really hit a fastball. If he wants to be early. Hey, he can really hit a fastball. Do not throw it to him early. I have to go like, you have to go behind the ball and then come forward just for the simple fact that they don't lock on. So yeah, I'm taking purposefully bad routes in order to get a lock on animation. Let's see if Glaber can do something here. He's 0 for 2. Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres, welcome to the kingdom, big boy. I felt it. I felt it. That's a base hit. Carlos Correa. I'm telling you, these three shortstops are must-have. Grind team affinity or grind showdowns and get them. Matt Olson, home run, please. Matt Olson, home run, please. What I say? I literally called it. Did I not? Welcome to the kingdom, big boy. He's going to quit. Jesus Lusardo makes a grand debut. And with this one, we are going to call it here. But before we call it, well, let's not open up a pack this time around. Because we did it in the previous episode. I'm pretty sure by the time this is up, Kerry Wood will be out. And I'll be grinding his player program. So he's most likely the next one to make his, his debut for the no money spent. And then we'll have Dennis Eckersley make his debut too. But if you did end up enjoying today's content, please make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all social medias at BladeMist. Turn on that notification bell. Click on the channel, community tab. Interact with me there. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Make sure you stay clean. Wash your hands. Wash your face. Stay away from your elders if you're sick. And if you're sick, go get yourself tested out. You feel me? We don't want you to be spreading that corona out here. But as always, love y'all. Peace out.